everyone and happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's is nearly here and love is in the air. On special days like this, I find it's a really good thing to put a little twist on children's normal learning. This helps children keep engaged with their work during an exciting day and it also helps them learn a little bit about that special time. So today I am going to teach you how you can incorporate some Valentine's Day fun into maths learning. Let's have a look! This worksheet is all about repeating patterns. Decorate the hearts and then follow the given repeating codes to create colourful repeating patterns. You could use felt tips or colouring pencils. Or to make it more fun, why not some pom-poms or glitter? To extend this learning, why not cut up your pattern, mix it up and see if you can put it back together following the repeating code. These heart and arrow posters are a fun Valentine's themed way to help children remember their number bonds. Why not cut them up, mix them up and try to match them to the correct bond to 10? If your child is struggling, why not place the corresponding number of small objects on top of each piece? Children can then physically add the objects together. For a fun, energetic activity, why not stick the hearts around the classroom or around your house and give the children a set of arrows. They need to fly the arrow to the correct heart and stick it on. Finally, why not do some Valentine's data collection? If you're doing this activity in a class or group, have children ask their classmates their favourite Valentine's Day symbol. If you're doing this at home with only one or two children, you could collect this data in another way. Screen grab the pictures of the symbols and copy and paste several copies before printing out. Then put a different number of each picture folded into a bowl. Tell your child you've collected some votes from different children for their favourite Valentine's symbol. Children can then count up each one and record their data. Then children can use this data to create a useful bar graph. Why not decorate your bar graph in Valentine's colours like pink, purple or red? That's it for now. We hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. See you next time.